Hello, preschool families. It's G. Saf from Butterfly Garden Preschool. Today, I'm joined by Quincy the quail, and I'm going to read you a little story called Quincy the quail leads his family on an adventure. And then afterwards, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the quail, um, since we've been studying the desert, uh, mostly the Sonoran Desert, because that. Part of that is in Arizona and California. Um, I have been choosing animals that live in the desert and quails live in the desert and the quail also happens to be the California state bird. So let's read about Quincy and his adventure and then I'll tell you a little bit more about quails. The story is written by Barbara Renner. Quincy the quail and his family live under a shrub in the desert. His friend, a great horned owl, sits on top of a saguaro cactus, guarding the neighborhood. Ooh, 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 Mr. Owl calls. Quincy's mate, Quella, answers. Good morning, Mr. Owl. Quincy is the leader of his family. When his top knot of feathers flops in front of his eyes, he blows a puff of air to straighten them. Mr. Owl thinks this is funny. Quella and the children chuckle too. We're going to talk about what a top knot is in a little while. But let's see if you can figure it out from that picture. Gamble quails have short, stout legs with four toes, and the hind leg is elevated and does not touch the ground. That's pretty, that's pretty neat. So you can see their little toes there. And see if you can figure out what the top knot is on, on Quincy. Both female and male quails have them. Quincy leads his cubby on adventures around the desert neighborhood. They scurry from tree to bush, searching for seeds and insects to eat. Follow me, we'll find seed pods for breakfast. Quincy's feet pad along the dirt. His family follows close behind. They gather around the green sage and feast on the seeds. Mr. Owl watches from his perch. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They come to a Palo Verde branch on the path. Quincy stops. I'll show you how to go across this limb. He runs, jumps on tops, and hops over. See, it's easy. Quincy leaps back to join his family. Follow me. Quincy runs, but he doesn't jump in time. He slams into the branch and falls backward into a bush. We'll help you, Daddy, the chicks pull on Quincy's feet. The quails bounce over the branch and Quincy scurries to the front. A large saguaro blocks their way. Follow me around this cactus. While Quincy looks back at his family, he bumps into the saguaro and rolls on the ground. Ooh, 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 chuckles Mr. Owl. I'm okay, Mr. Owl, Quincy blows his top knot out of his eyes. The covey hurries around the cactus and Quincy takes the lead. Gamble quails like to eat insects or fruits of cactus to receive the required amount of water each day. So because it doesn't rain very much in, in the desert, um, that's how they get their water, from eating insects and um, flowers and seeds. Quincy watches dark clouds spread across the sky. It looks like rain. We'd better dash for home. I know a shortcut, so run fast and get ready to jump over this dry wash. A trickle of water begins to flow. The trickle becomes faster, carrying twigs and leaves. Also, I wanted to let you know that gamble quails are poor flyers, so they spend most of the time on the ground and not in the sky. Quincy runs to leap over, but the water is moving too quickly and he lands in the middle of the flood. He yells, kids, stay where you are. Mr. Owl, grab my top knot. Ooh, 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 yells Mr. Owl. 
There's that word again, top knot. Can you spot the top, Mr. Quail's top knot? Mr. Owl swoops down to the rushing water, picks Quincy up by his top knot, and carries him to his family. Quincy blows his top knot out of his eyes. Thank you, Mr. Owl. The covey chatters a happy song. An interesting fact about quails is that they usually lay 10 to 12 eggs. All the eggs hatch on the same day and the chicks leave the nest soon after they're born. Wow, 12. Can you imagine 12 little baby chicks all being born on the same day? Quincy leads his family home using a different route. That was fun, Daddy. Let's go on another adventure. Tomorrow, kids. Tomorrow, Quincy smiles. Ooh. You can come too, Mr. Owl. Now, I want to tell you a few more things about Quincy the quail. Um, Quincy the quail and his family live in an area called the Sonoran Desert. This area covers the southern part of Arizona and California and even a little part of Mexico. It's made up of sandy valleys and pine-covered mountains. Even though it's hot and dry in the valleys, it can snow in the mountains. Usually, rain and thunderstorms called monsoons occur July through September. If it rains a lot, the dry creeks fill up with rushing water and can be very dangerous. This is what Quincy encountered when he tried to jump over the dry wash. Be careful in the desert when it rains. The quail's head plume or top knot, we heard a lot about that in the story, is a cluster of six overlapping feathers. The male quails have longer top knots that are appealing to female quails when they are searching for a mate. Other animals that live in the Sonoran Desert include the cactus wren, coyote, diamondback rattlesnake, and desert tortoise. I wanted you to hear um, the sound that quails make. Hope you enjoyed hearing the story about Quincy the quail and his family. Thanks for joining us today. Please um, remember to subscribe and like so that you can get future notifications about our lessons.